So we'll start with an assembly here that's set up with a rotary table for a three-axis mill. Uh, the first thing we'll do in assembly mode is we tell the system what part or parts, depending upon what you do, uh, you want to machine. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to the machine definition, and in this example we're just going to use four axis. If you were doing a five axis machine or positioning, you would do it, set it here. And then for the rotary axis, you tell it what you want to rotate around. This is all based off of the coordinate system. So we're rotating around the x-axis and our zero position is the xy plane inside of the part. Now from this standpoint, we will go through and we'll look at our solder's cam options because in this cylinder we only want to machine those rectangular pockets. So we're only looking for non-holes in this example. When I run Extract Machinable Features, what it's going to do is look at the faces of the cylinder that it can rotate around, automatically identify those, and split them into unique setups. Now, whether you're doing automatic feature recognition or manual feature recognition, um, the way that indexing works is you define a setup plane or a, a reference for each feature you want to machine. So in this instance, we have six pockets, so we have six unique setups. Those mill part setups are unique because that's what defines the tilt and rotation orientation for indexing based from that XY location. Once we have that, we'll go through and on the setup in the operation page, we'll go to our fixtures tab, define what we want to reference as fixtures. So therefore, when we do machine simulation, we can actually see if we're going to have a collision with any of the fixturing components. The last thing we'll do for this example is set our stock to be round because if this cylinder was a casting, uh, we're only machining those rectangular faces in an already round part. So we'll just use a sketch that's existing there to define our stock. Now when we come and look at simulation, we should see our chuck and then we should see the part that we want to machine from and it'll go through and create the rectangles, the rectangular pockets for each of those settings. So the key to indexing is the mill part setup and position in the machine definition. The rest is standard programming.